kicking off here with more action on UWC Online. First matchup here on this episode, it is Tornado Jones, a man who's got a big matchup coming up at the heat is on when he takes on one of the most decorated champions in UWC history, the former the powder keg, Jimmy Carrot. And the interesting thing about that entire situation here, tosses him into the ropes, Marcus Smith coming off, oh! Shoulder block takes him down. The interesting thing about that matchup is the simple fact that between those two men, between Tornado Jones and Jimmy Carrot, ho ho! Guess a little bit of anything you can do, I can do better. But between Tornado Jones and Jimmy Carrot, Tornado Jones has already pinned Jimmy Carrot's shoulders to the mat on two different occasions in the span of a month. Can he do it at the heat is on? Can he three-peat? Can he go one more time and etch his name into the history books of the United Wrestling Coalition and pretty much solidify his fate? Well, that's still coming up at the heat is on, but this match going on right now, the science Marcus Smith getting a little bit more of a fight here out of one half of the tag team champions than he was expecting. Marcus Smith here, he prides himself on his ability to have a, as he calls it, a phenomenal body. He's in great shape, there's no denying that. Utilizing all the science from, from different places. He's got the, the strength powder there at the ringside area. Look at the torque on Tornado Jones, this chance of TJ break out into the crowd here at the battle zone. Tornado fighting back up, pushes Marcus Smith down to the very same predicament. Double leg drop across the midsection. Arm drag takeover. Second one. And Marcus Smith now, he's complaining to the referee over something. Oh, and he suckers him in and sends TJ to the outside. Of course, TJ standing for Tornado Jones. here at the Battle Zone getting an up close and personal look at the action. Oh! Marcus Smith now showcasing that the science doesn't mean he knows all about the science of physicality, but he knows the science of the mental prowess that he can be smarter than you in this crazy little game called wrestling. Oh, just torquing away. Look at the, the way he's just yanking on that arm. Bounce off the ropes. Oh, Tornado Jones showing he still has one good arm. Springboards over the top rope. Face buster into the mat. Could be a penitent here. That's what it is. Two. Gets his shoulder up at two. Tornado Jones now. You can still see he's kind of favoring that injured arm. The injured shoulder. Marcus Smith quick like a cat cuts him off. Got him locked on. Tornado Jones with that injured arm. It's killing him to do it, but he's trying to fight out. Bounces off the rope, ducks under the clothesline attempt. Russian leg sweep, almost didn't get him there. Into a two count. It's very humid here in the battle zone tonight, very hot. Dropping all of his weight across that arm. It's a very smart move on the part of Marcus Smith. Figure out a body part that you want to target and just stay on it. Only a two count. Very vocal fans here in Georgetown at the battle zone. Series of near falls there on the part of Marcus Smith. You gotta wonder if somewhere in the back, Jimmy Carrot is sitting by a monitor watching this happen. Forearms to the side of the face now. Huge lariat. Back elbow. Drop kick right to the midsection. Another drop kick to the face. 
Oh, he's heading up to where he's most comfortable. Tornado Jones has made a name off of coming off that top rope. Very smart there. I may not like what happened, but very smart on the part of Marcus Smith. Could have it here into a pin attempt. Just a two count. And goes right back to that arm. That's what I'm talking about. The, the mental prowess on Marcus Smith is very, very smart here. Wrapping it around that bottom rope and there's nothing but pain. You can hear the screams from Tornado Jones. Two. Only a two count. It would not benefit Tornado Jones to walk away from this match with an injured anything, let alone an injured arm. Heading into the big match at the Heat is On with Jimmy Carrot. Could be it. Only a two count. Tornado Jones showcasing it's going to take a little bit more to put away a champion of the United Wrestling Coalition. A tag team champion. Tornado Jones is currently in stature here in this company in a place that Marcus Smith has yet to be, has yet to be at all. I mean, I don't even know if he's had a championship match here. Very nice chin buster almost. Drop kick to the face. I wonder if he knows the science to put his nose back in the right place. Tornado Jones going up top. There we go. Huge bomb from the top rope. He got it. victory here for Tornado Jones. It looked like he was going to be put out to pasture a few times by Marcus Smith, but he pulled it out in the end, and I guarantee Jimmy Carrot's watching somewhere, hoping that that doesn't happen to him at the heat is on. UWC Online, new episodes every Monday, youtube.com slash UWC Georgetown. Aaron, you think you're real cute. You think you're funny. You think you're such a comedian. Last week, I beat the crap out of you with Conrad at my side. I still beat you. Tonight, you had my friend banned from ringside. And it's funny that I say that friend. You know what? I'm pretty sure I got you all figured out, Aaron. You're jealous of me. Do you know why you're jealous of me? It's not because I'm a former champion. No, it's just that. Friends. I have one of those. You have none. Nobody in that locker room likes you, Aaron. Nobody. I have a friend. Yeah, he's not here tonight, but I still have one. Let's talk about your track record when it comes to friends. Joey O'Reilly, longest reigning tag team champion, best tag team champion competitor in UWC. But not with you. Why not with you? Because he can't trust you. Let's talk about another one of your friends, Jeff Harris. He was your buddy, right? Y'all, years and years were together. He could have been here tonight. I heard in the back that he, oh wait, that's right. He's not though. He's not. You may have banned my friend, Aaron, but the same thing is gonna happen to you tonight that happened to you last week. I'm gonna beat the crap out of you, and there's no one in the back that can stop me. tie up now in the center of the ring. Two minutes in the ring right now. Travis is a big boy in his own right, but this VC Justice 
Ducks underneath that huge shot. Fist of cuffs to the midsection, shot to the side of the face. Referee Sean Reif trying to dodge out of the way. Working over in the corner, nice headbutt. Now you see exactly what's going on with Travis Weir in the ring right now. He's getting his bell rung, basically. Tonight, Travis Ware is no slouch in his own right. He's pushing about 300 plus pounds. <laughs> Travis gets afraid when the sun starts to go down. Huge forceful drop kick on the part of Travis Weir. Might be looking to turn things around here in this matchup. Standing on the forehead, come on. Oh, now look at this cocky pin right here. Travis Weir used to be one of the most promising superstars in the United Wrestling Coalition, the first ever cup winner a few, just a few years ago, Horizon Cup Tournament, the first ever Horizon Cup Tournament winner. And now to see him and the attitude that he has here nowadays, is, it's just ridiculous. Second. Are we going to see this? Whoa! Could be it. That's the first time we've seen that big stupid elbow in quite a few months. Travis is mad now. Look at the look on his face. He's upset that it hasn't, it's taken so long to put justice away. Here he goes. Moves out of the way just in time. Could be his opening, could be his opportunity. Bicycle kick sends him down into a pin attempt here. Could have it. Oh, and that's exactly what I said VC should have done earlier. Travis Ware, good ring awareness, grabbing the bottom rope. This could be a mistake here on the part of VC Justice. I would have thought he should have stayed on the man rather than allowing him to get back to his feet. Wait a second, grabs him. Rake in the eyes, right in front of the referee. Short super kick. He got the win, but you can... Travis Weir is the winner. Ooh, Cecil Cerveza, last week you had me pinned to the mat. That's all because you had a partner. You got friends. No one would have thought about that, would they? <laughs> Anyways, tonight, tonight's the night I finally get my revenge on you. And guess what? Conrad's not here, nowhere to be found. And I'm putting a stop to all this fighting, all this jumping. Tonight, it's me and you one-on-one. -on -one. The crowd here is 
going crazy for Aaron Matthews, hometown boy from Georgetown, Illinois, who's sexy, finally one-on-one -on -one tonight, getting an opportunity to take on Cecil Cerveza, where a winner must happen. And I say finally, yes, I know these two competed against each other in a previous main event, but it was because of that and because of the, the, the constant barrage of attacks from Conrad. Or when Aaron wrestled Conrad and Cecil would get involved. Wait a second, he's telling everybody to be quiet. Oh! Down to the outside, starting this match off in a high way. Head first into the turnbuckle. The steel ring post. Gonna do it? Nope, it's gonna send him into the ring. Officially starting this matchup, sends him in and back to the floor! He didn't just go to the floor, but I think he smacked his face off the side of the ring at the same time. Aaron Matthews has been ready for this fight for a week. He has been ready to get his hands on Cecil Cerveza. As I started to say earlier, every single time he's had a match with either Cecil or Conrad in the last several weeks, one or the other has gotten involved in the match. There has never been a decisive winner here tonight due to the ruling of Sheriff Titty Nashville. Conrad, he's not here. He's gone. He's been barred from the building. Aaron Matthews finally getting a fair shot to take the fight straight to Cecil Cerveza, and he's doing just that. Oh, Cecil fighting back now, catches him. Oh! Shoves him face first into the floor of the ring, right into the mat. Cecil Cerveza is no slouch, a former UWC champion here in the United Wrestling Coalition. An honor that Aaron Matthews has yet to receive in his career. He's a multiple time tag team champion here, but holding the big gold, he hasn't done it just yet. Front face lock. Gut buster. Now all of the weight coming down across the back of the neck and the throat on Aaron Matthews. We heard Cecil Cervase's words before this match started. Wait a second, drop kick right to the mush. Cecil trying to scurry to get away, but Aaron Matthews catches him in the corner. He's going up for the 10 punch. And he lands them all. Wait a second, could be a mistake. Cecil's gonna catch him again. Up on the shoulders. A Little bit of chicken almost. Sends him over, Aaron counters. Hurricane Rana. Face first into the mat, could have him here. Cecil getting his shoulder up at two. Cecil Cerveza trying to put into words the fact that Conrad has been barred from the building here tonight. Double knee chest breaker. Taking the win right out of Aaron Matthews. Looks like he might have hurt his wrist at the same time. Putting him up top on that top rope. This might not be a good idea. Oh, he's tying him up in the tree of woe. Kicks to the midsection. That's a smart move on the part of Cerveza. If you can take away the man's midsection, the rib cage, the sternum, you take away his ability to do all those flipping moves like the moonsault. Drops him knee first into the chest, the ribs. Two. Only a two count. Like I started to say earlier, Cecil Cerveza was conveying through words 
how upset, how angry he is that Conrad has been barred from the building here tonight. His apparently new best friend, Conrad, and that word friend. He was trying to showcase the fact that at least, as his words, he has friends, unlike... Oh! Step of elbow drop to the back of the head. Could have a victory here. Going for the pin. Gets a shoulder up at two. But the simple fact that Cecil says in his own words, at least he has friends, unlike Aaron Matthews, who seems to have lost everybody in his life. Jeff Harris, former tag team partner, nowhere to be found. Anybody else that he's called upon, they're not there to help him. Aaron Matthews has been going solo for the last few, oh, for the last few months. Release German suplex. Cecil going for a pin attempt. Might be too close to the ropes though. Maybe not a pin, he's going for some sort of a submission. Almost a variation of a bear hug on the ground. That's a smart move. Keep working over the ribs. Keep working over the midsection. If you take away the ribs, you take away his ability to breathe. Fans here in the battle zone screaming for Aaron Matthews. Trying to fight out of this bear hug position. Wait a second, Cecil catches him, lifts him up. Almost went for that blue thunder bomb, but he landed on his feet and you can see he almost torqued his knee. You can see when Aaron landed after, before that vicious kick, he grabbed the knee. Two. Somehow gets his shoulder up at two. I think it's very, very official. This crowd does not like Cecil Cerveza and they love Aaron Matthews. Gonna have to watch out for that knee on Aaron Matthews. Make sure it's still in the 100% super kick. Glance is right off the side of his head. Both men down. Both men now have to the count of 10 to either make it back to their feet or one of them to try and grab a pinfall. So much time passing right now. Mike Underwood, the senior official, he is on 6-7. Who's going to be the first one back up? Aaron Matthews by a millisecond back up to his feet. Huge lariat out of the corner. Big running leg kick. Monkey flips him out of the corner. Now here's where Aaron Matthews shines. If that knee holds up, here is where he shines in matches up on the top rope, going for the big splash. Nails a huge splash, but he's not able to grab a pin. So much time is passing, you probably could have got a five or a six count. Will he have it? Only a two count. Oh, Aaron Matthews, it's business time. He's ready to do some business. Down to the mat. But Cecil wisely rolling to the outside. You can't pin a man on the floor. Uh-oh. Cecil's got a chair. Cecil has that chair on the outside. Aaron, watch out! Oh. Cecil Cerveza causing a disqualification in this match with that chair! Aaron Matthews is going to win this match by DQ, but Cecil, I don't think he cares about that. He just cares about hurting Aaron. Oh, somebody's got to get out here and stop this. Somebody has got to come to this man's A, Cecil Cerveza. He doesn't have Conrad, but he has a chair. And to him, that's all he needs to finally put Aaron Matthews away for good. Oh, no. What? We know that music. Awfully familiar. Here to the battle zone, there he is! Jason V has returned! Jason V is back in 
Another battle zone. You talk about three men who know each other better than anyone else. He pulls the chair away. Jason's in the ring. Wait. Oh. Jason V coming to the aid of Aaron Matthews. I tell you, a month ago, I never thought I would have said that. Cecil's getting the same treatment. Oh! Cecil getting the same treatment that he and Conrad have been playing on on Aaron Matthews over the last several weeks. Jason V is back. Cecil, you may have a friend in Conrad, but Conrad's not. Hey, you listen to me. Conrad's not here tonight because every time you two are out here. I see you double team this man to where he can't walk. That's true. That's exactly true. So how about we do something about that? This crowd is loud. Let's do something about that, Cecil. In one week's time, the heat is on, we'll be right here. And I see nothing better than you go get your boy Conrad, get him back in this building, make the odds even as you take on me and Aaron Matthews. Whoa! Tag team match for the heat. What do you say? Challenging. Aaron. If you need somebody in your corner, you got it. Looks like we've seen the fences officially mended here between Aaron Matthews and Jason V. And the tag team match, the challenge has been made for the heat is on. Jason V, Aaron Matthews to take on Conrad and Cecil Cerveza. Oh my gosh.